John Strawbridge is part of a Force Recon Platoon that is tasked with long-range reconnaissance in the hostile Afghan mountains. On his fifth deployment as a Marine, Jeremy Austin is assigned to the same platoon. While not formally trained as a Force Reconnaissance Marine, he fills a last-minute opening. They were down a guy. Um, it just so happened that uh, the, the position they needed filled was, was as a communicator. And uh, yeah, I just kind of lucked out. It's an opportunity that will alter his life forever. Our mission was to provide overwatch for a logistical convoy that kept getting IED'd as they were coming through this narrow pass resupplying a unit further north. So we, we started doing a lot of reconnaissance and surveillance watching those roads. That means hiking for miles, often at night, to remote locations, secretly observing where the insurgents are laying IEDs and reporting it up the chain of command. At times, we'd be 80, 90 kilometers from any friendly units, 45-minute flight from anybody. Most of these men have experience executing deep recon missions in Iraq. But Afghanistan's geography presents momentous new challenges. You hear a lot of people sometimes be like, well, you went to Iraq, you'll know what to do in Afghanistan. That's not true. The, the terrain of Afghanistan, it, it looks like Satan himself took his hand and just drug it through there. It's, it's a very brutal terrain. This desert mixed with mountains. And they're just steep, rocky, razory mountain. As if sneaking silently through the unforgiving landscape under constant threat of attack isn't enough, these Marines do it with upwards of 100 pounds on their backs. You have to take food, a lot of batteries, rounds, a lot of camera equipment, computers, radios and batteries for the radios, thermal optic, and night vision devices. If you're going out for four days, you probably take about 18 quarts of water. So that's quite a bit of weight. And if it's cold, obviously you have to pack a whole bunch of warming layers. Then you have to pack a sleeping bag if somebody hypes out. We have a saying too, ounces equal pounds, pounds equal pain. Because every little thing you put in there adds up. But the weight on their backs is the least of their worries. If these Marines want to stay alive, they'll have to remain completely undetected. Then we'd have to come up with different designs and bowflage, as we call it, to camouflage ourselves in our gear. Basically, the ghillie suit's used to assist us with our concealment in a hide. And once we get out there, we'll take that environment and put it onto our ghillie suit, and that helps us blend in more. We conceal our gun by making basically its own little ghillie suit.